congratulations on the show. This has an epic, epic feel, and we've had a lot of epic, epic shows. What kind of differentiates this from, obviously, the comparison to, say, Game of Thrones? What, what kind of, I'm did you hope? Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but what sets this one apart? Because it is, it is very, very different, and people, there's a kind of misrepresentation that it is Game of Thrones when it's, when it's clearly not. It's not at all. You know, the difference, I would say, is mostly the tone. This is a book that was written in Poland um, in the 1980s, and honestly, I would say it's got a lot of humor in it. It has a lot of heart. We're really sort of, it's not a medieval drama. It's about the monsters and the magic but it's really about the three characters at the center of it, Geralt, Ciri, and Yennefer. Yeah. I mean, this is a, a property that you know, people have talked about maybe making a film over the years, but it is something that you want to invest in the characters. I guess net, having a Netflix platform gives you the opportunity to tell the story yeah. and please more people than you would if you told it over a two-hour over a movie. Right. Well, it's really, I mean, for me, the opportunity that television gives us is perpetual storytelling. We get to start the story, and then we get to continue it as long as fans want to show up. The idea of telling the story within two hours would be just mind-blowing to me. I would have no idea where to begin. Yeah. Did, your, uh, did the experience on the other shows that you've worked on, you know, Umbrella Academy, Daredevil, all that kind of stuff, did that kind of prepare you for the kind of epic nature of this in terms of the scope and in terms of the, the cast and how just how kind of to, to pull it off in, in many ways? Absolutely. I think the biggest thing that those shows taught me, though, were about adaptations of something that's really beloved by fans. And and how to make sure that you're honoring what the fans really love about the material while also keeping it fun and exciting and making sure that there's surprises for them. Yeah. And also you've got a fantastic cast, obviously you've got Superman at the helm, but an ensemble of, of fantastic talents. I mean, was it a long process to get these talents involved or was it quite quick that you kind of settled on everybody quite quickly? No, very long. I mean, we read several hundred people for, for each of the lead roles. And what I think is amazing about casting though is when you find the person, you find them and you know it that day. Um, and all with Henry, with Anya and with Freya, uh, you know, I would look at the casting director or look at the director and say like, oh yeah, we've got our person and it's amazing. Yeah, and just as a final question, I think you've been commissioned for season two already. Is that a, is that a strange experience in the, you know, in television of, of days past, you'd have to go for a whole season to, to, to wait to see if you've got a season two and now with the Netflix platform, it's just an immediate, yeah, we love it, we want you to do it more. Does that give you more pressure or is that kind of a good pressure that you know you're coming back? Oh my God, it's not pressure at all. It's so exciting. I mean, to have the opportunity to know that we're going to be coming back and doing this season again or the show again for another season, it's incredible because really then the fans get to invest, we get to invest in our storytelling, and it's, it is so flattering. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you Pleasure. So Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.